can I hope I can keep up. It's been a while since I did a game like this because they get pretty uh, tiring for me pretty quickly. Woo! Loud. Oh, the music though. Holy shit. Okay. Um. Oh, and now it's now it's normal. Listen to that. Everything sounding good, looking good. Talk about a first impression. Yeah, no, I agree. This game is this this game is really cool so far. Okay, um, I'm gonna do a new game. Yes, absolutely. Will you be playing Goodbye Volcano High? Maybe. I haven't seen a lot about it except for that initial trailer. I I love the like again the atmosphere of this game. It complements the pixel art so well. Yeah, it's got some fantastic Mr. Fox vibes. Sorry I missed your call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Just enough time to clean up. That, I, I think that's a fitting voice. Um, AD, move around, interact, tab to access the detective menu. Okay. Tidy up before my new client arrives. All right. So we're going to inspect the desk. Uh, so my name is going to be picked up by pressing E. Use mouse to drag and drop items. Uh, wahoo! Yeah! I guess I just got to pick it up. Okay. Uh, case files? Insurance fraud, stolen cars, strange lovers. There's probably been some of these old case files. What's the cork board? So this is gonna give me like a lot of like... Good place for a nice but expensive date. Museums, fancy music halls. Not been for a long time. It's gonna give me a lot of like lore about the places. I don't feel like reading it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just don't have the attention span for it. What was I just talking about? The new game problem. Gotta hit up Frankie to fix it when I have cash. So, never. Call mom, buy soap, pay bills. Don't die. Even photo developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning. Or a great soup. I'd get tired of this view. Animation smooth. Yeah, no, it's pretty damn good. It's got like... It's got that really nice juxtaposition of like, um... Actual assets moving around in the world at like 60 frames per second and, and above. Just, I mean, depending on your refresh rate. But like the actual animations are at a lower frame rate. I really like that. That, that always felt so... That's, that's like what Cuphead does. Like, the, everything actually moves around the screen at 60, but the animations themselves are at 24. Or maybe even lower for Cuphead. I don't know. I'll watch these later. Probably not. The Great Apes. The Great Story. Swell toilet read. You read your toilet? Oh my god, I just shit in mine. That's really weird. You kind of want to live in his apartment. Wait, saw the bath was in the same room. Never mind. Everything knows its proper place. That must be my screen. Hey, excuse me. I'm looking for Detective Lotor. We spoke on the phone. Uh. At your service, Miss Green. How's your day going? Oh, um, truth be told, my back's killing me. Pregnancy puts pressure on the spine. And please, Odette is fine. Uh. Got it. How can I help you today? I'm gonna play it pretty. I mean, we're, you know, impersonal. Uh, I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. Listening? He just hasn't been himself lately. Getting home at odd hours, 
making weird excuses. Tried to talk to him about it. Not gonna assume yet. Yes, but he gets difficult. Like it's my fault. Listen, I just need to know if you can get proof of his infidelity. I need it for the court. Uh, tell me about the affair. What do you need to know? What made you think he's not faithful? He was always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late, missing work, and smelling funny. Uh, what kind of smell? Like perfume, and not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something poignant. A kind of herbal stink. Um... You skipping work? I've had calls from his boss, wondering if he was sick. I even covered for him. I'm so fed up with this. You caught him lying? Well, he's just so bad at it. Wasn't much of a liar when we first met. Well, at least I thought so. How late are we talking? Way past the kid's dinner time. I asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. Hold up. Has he been aggressive? I can't see how this is pertinent, Mr. Lotor. Uh... But that personal details can make or break a case. I'm very nosy, as you know. I don't see how this would help you take a photo of my husband. I have to know if he's dangerous. I'm, sc I'm scared of... I'm really scared of men, <laughs> Miss Odette. I'm scared of angry men. And if you're telling me your guy is capable of getting angry, I gotta know about that shit ahead of time. Fine. He has a mean temper. Unpredictable. I'm out. See ya. Get out. Get out of my... <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need to know. Let's talk about court then. You want to file for divorce? That's right. And above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Husband will want the kids? I... I, I can't take any chances anymore. But has he said or done something to make you think he would? This is a separate issue. One I don't want to dig up right now. I work better when I know everything. Again, does he- is he angry right now? Um... I'd really rather keep a few batteries, Mr. Lotor. I'm taking the case. Let's talk final details. Sure, what do you need to know? What does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Where would I find him? Usually, I mean. Usually, at work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. How would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. What's his full name? Any aliases? Jeremy Green. I think people at work called him Jez. You met any of his friends? No, but he mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. All right, that should be enough. It's just a matter of my fee. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you bring me the photos. Will that suffice? Yes. Uh, plus any unexpected expenses. It's not just my life riding on this. I can only afford one shot. What assurance can you give me that you're the right guy for the job? To be honest, I can't. <laughs> All I can do is my best. I have to put a lot of trust in you, Mr. Lortor. Please, don't let me down. Of course. I'll get right on it. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. Okay. Here we go. Uh, Granville's gonna look pretty grand.
Hell yeah. Woo! Fuck yeah. God, I love that intro so much. <laughs> so glad I got to see that again. Okay. Ranville. Smells like wet concrete. Overpriced fast food. Puke. My kind of battleground. Yeah, old man. Take a look at this photo. Seen this guy around? Nah, man. Even if I had, why would I tell you? Well, see ya. Yeah, I can run! Hiya! Hey, if it isn't Mr. Howie! What's a rascal like you up on... Up to on a fine evening like this? Hey, and Natalie. I'm looking for someone. You got a minute? Or, uh... I'm actually gonna go... My beaver, how are Estrella and the kid? Yeah, they're both doing just fine. Essie and I are good. Great. We even, bless the shepherd, got a second lad due soon. Oh, I got a great story for you. Another? Wow, you guys are lucky. Thanks. He's a big one, too. Essie is round as a watermelon. <laughs> anyway, the story. I tell her, <laughs> woman, you're getting any bigger and that won't fit you in the trunk of the car. Hey, uh, don't you think that's kind of mean? And so, <laughs> she just turns to me with the eyes of a killer and says, You gave me the bread, honey. Oh, boy. Women, men. Yeah, okay. Women. Mysterious creatures. They love bread. So we... <laughs> it's a classic women fact. Is that we love bread. Just for future reference. So we break the news to our boy Victor. Son, you're gonna have a bro soon. He's like, oh no, a bro? What is it? Uh huh. So I tell him, Mama and Papa worked hard, so the apes let us have another baby. Baby boy, just like you. Mm hmm. Little Victor, poor soul, starts laughing. Oh, Daddy, we're gonna be so happy me and baby bro will play all the time. And I say, sure, son, but here's the catch. There always is. You and Mama are gonna have to look after him because two babies mean zero daddies. Because Daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. <laughs> oh, wow. Good luck, Tolly. Er, uh, jeez. You're right, man. I manage, I manage. Now, what'd you say you were doing here? Yeah, I'm looking for a guy. Here's a picture. You seen him ever? Yeah, I seen him. Barrel laughs kind of guy. Smell really bad. Took him back from the bite a couple of times. Any idea where he'd be now? I guess the bite is as good a guess as any. It's a goopy place though, eh? Did you ever talk? Mention anything that seemed strange? Nah, he was too wasted to talk most of the time. This smell did enough talking for both of us. <laughs> he smelled? What exactly? Eh, you know, poopy kind of smell. Stale booze and perfume, herbs. Awful, awful stuff. Thanks, Natalie. You're a detective's best friend. May regards to Estrella. Thank you, my man. <laughs> Why is everyone Italian? I don't know. <laughs> just, I'm just doing a voice. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, like, pick this shit right as, right as we walk up to him. You know, I can't always... I can always explain my methods. My methods. Alright, here's the fight. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. Yeah, perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind. I'd be more careful if, with my mouth if I were you, tiny striper man. Alright. See ya. I think I've already changed his voice, the main character's voice. So yeah, he's, he's really mean. It's Larry. Howard! Well, I'll be damned. It's been a while. Larry, what are you doing here? 
How are you doing, old man? <laughs> Shit, Annie, you okay? Not really. Thank you, though. Now, what's your deal? Uh, have you seen an odd guy around here recently? What did he do? Can't tell. Client confidentiality. Must be a shifty guy. What's he like? Uh, here's a photo. <laughs> it's client confidentiality. Here's a photo. <laughs> Look at him. Also, here's his address. Social security. <laughs> I haven't seen him. Sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. Yeah, I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. Sly Cooper is looking good. Hell yeah. Really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. Said your guy's an otter? That's weird. You have any idea of how I could get in? What you could do is ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel Kid with the leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. Why would he help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. What sort of stuff Johnny sells? You're typical, like hype and shatterfang. Oh, get this. He started rolling out something called monkey butt. <laughs> Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. Hey, right. hopefully that's enough to get me into the bite. Thanks. You got it, Howard. A welcome distraction, really. See you soon. Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll see you. Who's this guy? You know, come. No answer. But nobody came. <laughs> <laughs> what if, what if we were just, just walking down here? Oh, oh, I didn't know this was a thing. Now oh, crap, Downey's on duty in the booth up ahead. I can't deal with him right now. Oh, okay. Take that into account. I was gonna say, what if we were running through and then we just had like a fucking like, like a random encounter? <laughs> Like, we just walk through and there's just like... Do -do 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 Whoa! <laughs> hey, Natalie, watch this. How you doing? It's pretty good, man. Where'd you learn that? Yeah, no, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. That's a good dance animation. I don't even think that's intentional. <laughs> All right. Yeah, old well, man. I forgot what I'm already forgetting places. My brain, my brain is only halfway open tonight. Just so you know. Yeah, old well, man. You, Johnny. Who's asking? Name's Wallace. What do you want, Waldo? I need to get into the bite. Ah, I bet you do, pal. Why should I care? <laughs> Listen, I heard it's the place to go for the good shit. Oh, you mean like that new school jazz or the great upholstery? 
Yeah, cut the crap. All right, no. I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, right. Get out of here, old fart. Just help me with the big guy out front. That's all I'm asking. Hank doesn't let any old chump in for good reason. Say I make you simpatico. What does Johnny get in return? Uh, just a warm, fuzzy feeling. You're a nice guy after all. Are you on something right now? <laughs> How can I earn your trust? Wait, what, what are we even talking about here? <laughs> about you. If you think... I mean... This is gonna... Help me. I'm warning you. This is your last chance. Get angry. Do it. You really don't want to do this. What am I doing, Johnny? You're making a big mistake. Get me into the bike. That's all I want. You know what? Fine. I don't even care. Let's go. I'll talk to Hank. Thank you. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how that worked, but... Sure did. You got yeah, speech 100. You gotta fucking play the mind games with him. What do you want? Here's Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Oh, you brought my favorite customer. Striper, you can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks. Oh my god, I love this place. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies. All a little too high-end for my taste. Colby. Audrey. Isn't this too dreamy? <laughs> Excuse me. God, I love this music. I'm looking for my friend, Inada. Have you seen him? I haven't. Sorry. Did I? Wait, I just did. I changed accents mid line. I haven't. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to fucking. I'm from the South. Why am I having such a hard time doing a Southern accent for the. Oh, this song. Listen to that shit. I haven't. Sorry. You sure? You would have been wearing a green tie, glasses? Not really. Leave me alone, okay? Sorry to bother you. Have a pleasant evening. She a mouse? This is awesome. Ingrid. Evening, sugar. Enjoying yourself? In here. How could I not be? We aimed please. But I can't find my friend. Makes me worry. How touching. Hey, regular? Jeremy. Hey, he's usually here like clockwork. Maybe I've seen him. What's he like? Green tie, green hat, glasses. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that because that sounds like. Admittedly, I, pl I played this bit before. And when I played that, she was like on to me instant. <laughs> He's an otter. That's his. <laughs> Damn it! Nah, she's. <laughs> Just that I. <laughs> Doesn't sound like you know your friend very well. Okay, fine, I'll do this. <laughs> he wears glasses, green tie, green hat. Sounds more like you're describing a wanted man. Why are you looking for him? Yeah, he is. I'm an investigator. We're not in the habit of snitching on our regulars. So you sure he's not here? Assuredly. Be seeing you. Or you just sit and listen. That's awesome. Clarissa. She looks cool. You look a little lost. Is that obvious? It is to me. What gave it away? 
You're not exactly dressed for a soiree, darling. He's saying I don't belong here. On the contrary, I'm quite amused by the company. So tell me, what brings you here? I hope it's not to stir up trouble. Nope. Just trying something new for a change. How's that working out for you? Pretty well. I'm enjoying the conversation at least. Or, why the calculated interest? I prefer to take care of what's mine. Why do I feel like I'm missing something? Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the buy. If I had known, I'd have been more mindful of my manners. No need to stand on ceremony with me, darling. And so to whom do I owe the pleasure? Name's Wallace. Pleasure's mine, Wallace. And what's your profession? Uh, nothing specific. Just gigs here and there. Whatever pays. Flexible, resourceful, I like it. So how can I help you, Wallace? I like to try new things. Do you have any... special recommendations? Folks say that our chef's special is to die for, but I pride myself on everything here being equally special. So, what brought you here tonight? I'm just here to meet a friend. Is that so? More regular than you? Sure is. Always talking the place up. What's his name? If he's here tonight, I'll know. Jeremy. Last name Green. Otter. Boring. The nice type. You were just meeting him for a quiet drink? That's our business. I don't believe you. Which makes it my business, too. It's your prerogative, I guess. Mr. Wallace, if that is your real name, playing coy clearly doesn't suit you. And it's certainly not appropriate in my establishment. I suggest you take your business elsewhere. I'd rather stay. Oh, I must insist. Or should I ask Hank to insist instead? He can be oh so persuasive when he's angry. No need. I'm blowing this joint. Thank you. Perhaps me and the real you will see each other again sometime. Don't count on it. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, did I actually leave? Damn. Clarissa Bloodworth? What's her deal? Need to find another way in. Okay, that didn't work. That's interesting. I wonder... I wonder how much th even this part kind of diverges in terms of, like, your decision-making. Because I remember when I when I booted up this game, just, like, give it a go earlier, um, I walked past Clarissa, but I didn't talk to her. And I, I remember there was, like, a staircase, and I think I maybe could have walked up the staircase. I don't know. Uh, but we'll see. I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. Who's this? Lawrence. What are you looking at? <laughs> Just need to get into that building there. <laughs> it's evil, you know. You're better off staying away. Oh, you mean it's haunted? What? Of course not. Are you dumb? It's the people there. They're evil. Why do you say that? What do you care? Mind your own. You work at the bite. Piss off! What kind of game are you playing now? I told you I'm not leaving till I get it back. Get, are you hurt? Do you need help? You're not one of them thugs. What thugs? I'm, I'm really here on my own business. You're really aiming to get into that ditch? Yeah. You know how? Maybe. I mean, not really. I tried the code at the door, but damn filthy slugs won't let me in. I just want to talk to her. Who are you trying to talk to? It's my daughter. She's in that filthy. And I've been coming for days, but they say... They won't let me talk to her. I I'm her mother, damn it. Yo, what's she doing in there? Kid decides she's going to make it all on her own. Lands herself in a whorehouse. Stupid. Oh, they're drugging her. I know it. 
They, they won't let her see her own mother. I'm, I'm a poor baby. Why won't they let you talk to her? Says she doesn't want to talk to me, but they're lying. I know it. They just want to keep it all hushed up like. Hey, I'll keep an eye out for her if I get in. What does she look like? Gray fur. Name's Rosie. Rose. Drives her nuts when I call her Rosie. Just turned 20. They heard a single whisker on my baby's face. I swear I'm gonna burn this hide to the ground. How are you so sure she's still in there? She's my baby. I know where she is. I can sense it. So she's been visiting the bite before. Told me she was waitressing, but I asked around. This hole serves drugs and sleaze. When'd you last see her? Two, three weeks ago. We had a fight. So you thought about her job at the bite, and that was the last time you saw her. What about it? Nothing. I'll do my best to find her. Thank you. I tell her I'm waiting out here. They haven't told her, I'm sure. Do you know of any other way in? No. I've heard voices up on the roof, but how'd you get there? Wait. I've heard voices up on the roof, but how'd you get there? You said you tried the code to the intercom. I memorized it word for word. Great fire, damn me. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. All right. Thanks for helping me out. I better go look for a way in then. Please, if you see my daughter, just tell her I need to see her. Please. Take care. Yeah, I, I feel like this is, yeah, I feel like this is one of those things where there's probably more to the story leaning towards the perspective of the daughter, probably, like, I don't know. Either, either they're gonna, they're gonna play this completely straight, or Florence is maybe a little bit too possessive. You think you can do these things, but you just can't, Nemo! This delivery truck, the door is open. Break in? No. We're not gonna break in and talk to the truck. Hey, truck, how's it going? Hey, you too, huh? All right, I'll see you later. What, what was it? What was it? Great fire, damn me. I forgot my schedule. Let me in or something like that. I talked to Larry again. How'd it go? Did you find him? Yeah, I got kicked out. Oh, Howard, how'd you manage that? Yeah, I think I poked the bear. Bouncer! I met Clarissa Bloodworth. Ah, oh, man, what'd you do? Yeah, she's upset. You better get used to watching your back. That's what I figured. How do I get back in there? Now, hold up. You said you didn't get into cases like this anymore. You told me you had no first-hand experience with monkeys, but people don't change, Larry. No. Larry, something is wrong, and I need to find out. Jeez. I'd recommend against it, but you do you. So, any other ways in? Oh, the truck over there just arrived. Some fellows entered through the back door. I also heard voices coming up from the roof, so he must have a door up there. Okay, yeah, so there's a door in the roof. The back door. Okay, so the back door takes a code, and then there's a door on the roof. Okay. Um, tell me about the back door. They have a little intercom box. You ring, they pick up, and if you're someone they're expecting, they buzz you in. Any clue on how I could become someone they're expecting? No idea. Maybe they use some sort of code? Yeah, well, you know about that. But I, I couldn't buzz in. Just says no response. Uh, tell me about the door on the rooftop. Well, most of these old buildings have one. Problem is, how are you going to get on the roof? Uh... <laughs> Maybe I could climb. Is there a fire escape you could give me a lift? Nah, no fire escape. And the bite is too high. Are there any smaller structures you could climb first? The press stand! <laughs> he got really excited about that. He's like, Hey, the press stand! Eureka! Whoa there! That could work. Start with the press stand. Go to Mackenzie. Proceed along the roofs. You should know that Bo is kind of a dick nugget. That is the most accurate description of Bo I've ever heard in my life. You're welcome. 
Anyway, I'd suggest talking to him and see if he'd be up for it. All right. Thanks for your help, friend. Goodbye. The press stand. People came out of this truck. If I, what if I, if I broke into the truck? Would I learn anything? Yeah, I, I just like I can't interact with the intercom, so I assume I would have to do something else for that. Okay. Press stand. Press stand. Would it be this way or the other way? Fish rooms, veggies. There's a wolf bank. Poster, northern tickets. Okay, I, I think it's this way. Oh yeah, I, this this is where I probably gotta go, like hide from that guy. Yeah, stay vigilant. Hey, cab, hey, cab, hey, cab, hey, cab, hey, cab. <laughs> oh, who said that? <laughs> said family package i got sweet and savory you can mix and match make your own trail mix how about it yeah uh sorry do you hang around granville often i'm here from time to time can i help you with something sir yeah i need to find a way into the bite fancy jazz bar i assume you tried the front door got kicked out through the front door oh uh maybe there's a back door I really don't know the place, but yeah, why is he asking this random kid? <laughs> you ever done drugs, kid? It was it was worth a shot. Got in the unshelled pumpkin seeds. Ah, of course. Got salted and unsalted. Each baggie's worth a half loon. But I'll give you a three for I'll give you a three for a loon? It's a stale. Eh, yeah, just one. Is your name really Sid? Yep, short for Sidwell. No one calls me that. It has a nice ring to it. Sid Seeds. My Aunt Nata insisted on it. Eh, yeah, thinks it's cute. Cute and memorable. Thanks for the seeds. I gotta run. Mackenzie and Sons. Oh, I love that. I love that outfit. <laughs> Press stand. Here we go. Bow. Well, good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news. Anything good happening for a change? For a loon, you can read them all with your own eyeballs. I just want the headline. Front pages today are all great eight parade preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. How is that news? It's the same every year. No way. The floats are different every time. Gonna sell mounds of nibbles. Drop by. Hey, one more thing. I'd like to climb your stand, please. Absolutely not. Do you know how much time and effort it takes to keep the stand in good condition? <laughs> I promise to pay for any damages. You're broke as a goose. Couldn't cover damages even if you wanted to. Yeah, what did... What if I could offer something else as collateral? My PI skills, for example. Now that you mention it, maybe you could help out with the little issue I've been having. Spill it. I need that seed selling Pika Hawker off Granville. Can you do that? No, I like that kid. Eh, I don't know, Bo. That's not what I do. Scratch, back, mine, yours. How, wait, how can I not, how can I not refuse? No, no, <laughs> Sid's doing so well for himself. What? Let's do you lucky and best. No, I'm not doing it. I'll have to do the backdoor one because I'm not fucking doing that. I'm not fucking up Sid's business. Kid, you're good. You're good in my book. I'll find another way. I just ran right by the dude. <laughs> I completely forgot. <laughs> I mean, nothing happened. 
Okay, cool. And I definitely wouldn't fit in with that crowd. Wouldn't want to. They got like some weird like animal segregation going on in this universe. I don't I don't fully understand the social dynamics. I assume I assume they'll get into that in some kind of way. Let's break into the truck. Why not? It feels like a nice day to break into a truck. What do you what do you say? <laughs> The interior is filled with cardboard boxes and smells like rust. There's a weird looking recording device on a dashboard. The compartment seems to be unlocked. You open the compartment and find a couple of newspapers and documents that look like invoices or checks. Um, go through the newspapers. Two newspapers for September and October. They don't look like anyone was reading through them. Read the headlines. Epidemic continues. Geezers may be spreading disease. Vicious wall attack leaves three defenders wounded, one dead. Okay. I gotta look at the invoices. They all mention a company called Starling Cider Limited purchasing unnamed goods from Bite Foods LLC. Most recent purchase is supposed to be happening today. Okay. Recording device on the truck's dashboard. Try to use the device. It's a voice recording device hardwired into a truck dashboard, probably set for surveillance. You might be able to print out the recordings if you enter the correct dates. Oh, I assume I'm going to get like a recording of a guy saying the code or whatever. Select dates from the invoices in newspapers. September 22nd, got three packages for you. Geese, damn you, I can't fit that many. We expected you two hours of continue being an ass and I'll leave. We have five packages ready for pickup. Three is all I can fit in the truck. You're four hours late. Leave me alone. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> okay. I don't fully understand, but I assume... Is that in our inventory now? Yeah, okay. Small bag of cute-looking seeds can be eaten. Look at that! I... Uh, there's no fucking way. I don't I don't care if I literally soft flock the game. I'm not fucking with Sid. Here we go. Oh wait, wait, I can I can Hey, where you've been? We expect you to two hours ago. Yeah, great fire, damn me. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Oh, is that wrong? Oh my god, maybe she like, maybe she got it wrong. Maybe she's like fucking, maybe she's off. She's off. Is this a prank? Get out. Yes, that was wrong. Is that, is that effect working, by the way? I don't know if that's actually working or not. I, I, I like, I can't hear it on my own. Um, well, so yeah, yeah, don't backseat, come on. <laughs> this, is, this, this game is, this is a fucking puzzle game. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what you even said, but... Um... Working nice. Okay. You dashed to us late. Ready to load. Great fire didn't me. Wait, okay, hold on. Ape, sorry, can you buzz me in? Can I like... Woo! And when I get stuck in the jam, let me in. Ape, sorry, can you buzz me in? Ready to load. I totally, I forgot how it opened. Ready to load? <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Let's look at the, um... How do I, can I, like, look at these? Let me go back in. Okay. Got three packages. We have five packages. We expect you two hours ago. Continue being an ass and I'll leave. Four hours late. Leave me alone. Let me use all I can fit in the truck. In the recording again. Yeah, okay. Number 22nd. So late, we have five packs just ready for pickup. We use all I can fit in the truck. <laughs> Great fire, damn me. I looked at the wrong schedule, let me in.
Ape, sorry, can you buzz me in? There we go. Okay. Uh. Whatever. We got one package today. Uh. Great. Ready to load. Come in and wait in the laundry. I'll bring them over once they're ready. Okay. Coming in. Hey, we did it. Nice. Neato, neato, neato. Laundry room. The bar is just behind that door. Maybe I could sneak behind that angry bouncer to the second floor. Dirty pots. Open door. Lift. Right lift going downstairs. Needs a turkey. Sorry, turnkey. <laughs> the pots doesn't look very clean. I would need here even if they didn't kick me out. Okay, um we said something about getting upstairs, I think. <laughs> Sneak through. Yeah. So if I hadn't to talked to Oh shit! Oh my god. Oh fuck, okay. Whoops. Well. Um if I hadn't to talked to Cassandra, maybe I could have gotten through. Go up? We good? Well, I mean, fail state didn't trigger. Yeah, cool. It's shoulder crouch. Enemies can't hear you when you crouch and don't see my. Oh! Oh, they got fucking. They got like real stealth mechanics here. Just gotta keep my profile low and take a peek into one of the rooms. Jess must be there. Uh, game is a bit loud sometimes and not at other times. As much as I don't want to, I maybe gotta turn things down a little bit more. It, it fucking rules, but it's like, it's a bit too loud for me. Okay. <laughs> look at this guy. This guy, this guy is directly from Fantastic Mr. Fox. That is, that is a character from Fantastic Mr. Fox. What the hell? He's the guy in the fucking, the cider, yeah, the cider rat. Private room? Damn, did I miss him? Maybe he left something behind that could help with that. Well, yeah, well, this got much more common. Yeah, okay. So here's the green hat. Herbs. Is that a naked mouse statue with, with, with breasts? This monkey butt really does stink like a butt. Like a butt. Like. <sighs> a green hat. Green must have been here. Now it's the rest of them. It's a green tie stuck between the frame. How did it get there? Is there some, like, secret door shit going on? What the? Secret lift? Huh. I think I could squeeze into it. Not that I particularly want to, but I can't afford to be picky. Alright. I wanted to see if maybe... No, I can't even get out of here. Alright. Shame that I can only watch it 360p right now. Well, just think of it like you're watching um, pixel art with uh, anti-aliasing. <laughs> You're you're watching the fucking uh what is it? What is it? The the, the bilinear <laughs> filter version of Backbone. <laughs> okay, this is weird. That's a grim looking furnace. What are they burning in here? Monkey butt is better when it's hot. That's what it is. Looks like the guests of the bite are eating well. Door corkboard. Greg the inventor was off again. If I catch you stealing food, I'll chop off your grabby little fingers. Intercom. Intercom connected to the other rooms in the building. There's a list of extensions close by. 
Dial packaging, dial kitchen, leave. Okay. An open vent. I can fit through it if I crouch. Oh. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh! Gotta make sure I'm not seen by the guy with big knives. Smells delicious, though. Woohoo! <laughs> he fucking hurt me. Okay. Mixer. Oh, do I distract him? Yeah, okay. What is the intercom for, then? I assume this is one of those things where this mission is meant to... Oh, there's another mixer right here. Okay, so I can come back. I, I am meant to be able to come back. So, yeah, we didn't have to do anything with the intercom just yet. Um, I was going to say, uh, this seems like they're introducing me to a lot of, like, stealth mechanics and stuff here, and they're going to get vastly more complicated as the game goes. <laughs> this is just, like, a very simple rendition of this kind of, like, gameplay loop. Or wait, does this summon the other guy? Who's gonna... who's gonna get it? They're just let, they're just letting that stay on. They say, eh, we don't care. I'm gonna get... <laughs> oh, there's an intercom right there! Okay. Dude, you're gonna... I think I'll trigger a fail stick. Oh my god, really?! <laughs> Right as I left. Okay. Alright. I know what I gotta do. Okay, intercom. We'll do dial kitchen. <laughs> Yo, this is kitchen. What do you need? If that's Greg, no, I'm not making you a snack. Hey, yeah, you, you, you suck. Who is this? Don't you fucking move. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I think somebody's coming. Yes, yeah, somebody's coming. Okay. <laughs> yeah, here he comes. Okay, and then I'll yeah, I'll summon the other guy with the mixer. I should be able to get past both of them. <laughs> this is great. I'm having fun. Very cool. Very cool. Some kind of a locker room. Better keep moving. I say as I stop to read. Here's a family favorite! Apes Delight! What's this? Oh. Yo, this is awesome! I love... I really like adventure games. I really like adventure games. So, the fact that there's an, a new good one right now is, like, super neat. What the hell is this? There's so much here. This is gonna be, like, some puzzle thing. For sure. Hey, Gregory, could you maybe keep your papers on your locker? Maybe. You <laughs> Okay. Okay. I'm gonna move all that over here. That right there. I feel like... Oh! Wait. Look at that! Look at that. AV1A. And this is nothing. Okay, so it's this one. I'll keep that right there. I don't even know what the fuck this is for. I'm just setting this up ahead of time. Okay, and then this little one is gonna go over the card. Q. Or is it? Wait. Oh, this card. Five. This is fucking clever. Okay. Ten zero. Four. And then three balls. What the hell? Okay. Well, 
does that does that stay? Yeah, it does. Oh, that's useful. That's extremely useful. What the hell is this? This is this is great. Okay. All right. No. Greg, the turkey, the turnkey is <laughs> Oh my god, the first time was a joke. This time I literally actually misread it as turkey. <laughs> Greg, the turnkey is missing again. It better be here when I get back. <laughs> the turkey's missing again. <laughs> um. Greg, the that's what a tur that's what a turkey sounds like, you know, famously. It's a freight lift or code lock. Aha! Yeah, here we go. Okay. What the? F okay, but then what the? I guess it's got to be something with. I take it out of here. It seems to need a turnkey. Oh yeah. Okay. So where did the turnkey go? Oh no. Okay, well, I'm stuck in here. Oh shit. I thought this was like a hole in the wall. I don't know why. I'm... This is interesting. Anyone? Okay. So, because I can't get out of this room. So, so numbers we have include four, five, one, and there's like A. Maybe four, five... 451, do we have any other numbers here? Oh, there's holes in this! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Zero, is that? Yeah, that's zero. We have four, five, one, zero. Oh! Wait, and then this pattern. Whoa! Wait, I think I got it. I think I got it. Wait. Okay. So zero. Zero. Four. Five. One. Yeah? Zero, four, five, one. Holy shit. That is so... That's a... That's a good puzzle. That's a good fucking puzzle. It's so cold down here. Where were the lights? If this if this game is gonna be puzzles like that, holy shit. That was awesome. Okay. What the hell is going on here? I'm like, I'm so this game is awesome. I'm so into this. Whoa. The atmosphere. In fact, 0451 is a common code in video game. <laughs> cool. What the hell is going on? Whoa! <laughs> it's like jump scared me. Uh, I don't want. I don't know if I want to wait. I'm gonna go the other way first. Okay. I gotta go this way. Oh my fucking! What? Holy shit. I have to, it's funny. I have to I have to read his reaction before my reaction in this in this in this instance. Dead body. Oh my god. 
Ooh. It's a naked dead otter. Holy shit. Fuck me. It's fucking Jess. The corpse offers you <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> uh, I love. I, that is darkly comedic. That is funny. <laughs> this is Jess Green. Uh, I found him. Pieces fit. It's Odette Green's husband lying here. Oh my god. Try to a certain cause of death. Body shows no obvious signs of violent death. It's just a naked, dead, slightly overweight otter. Can't do this. I need to get the fuck out. Oh my god. It's like, yeah, no, dude. Like, this is way above your pay grade right now. I, I no, I'm going with that one. I can't do this. I, I need to get the fuck out. <laughs> get rid of Sid. Get. Somebody's coming quick. I thought. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Get rid of Sid. Was that me? What? What am I doing? Oh, container. Huh? Can I? I can't. Okay. There we go. Greg here. No, I'm still working on a cut. Okay, coming. Yeah, they're fucking eating people. That's insane. I can't uncrouch. No, I can't. Sorry, Jess. Even you didn't deserve this. Nobody does. Okay. Who was who was Sid again? I I com I completely forgot. I was like I recognize. I recognize uh. Name Sid, but I literally. Still, I'm still immersing myself. Sid is the kid. Oh, wait, what? Why do I have to get rid of Sid? Is that just left over from... Yeah, that's just left over from the old thing I did. I assume I won't have to do that if I... Oh, oh, there's the key. Oop. Darn key. Maybe I'll make it out alive. <laughs> Uh-oh. I was gonna say I stopped walking. I couldn't walk anymore for a second. Anything in here? No? Okay. Yeah, this is pretty fucked up. How do they how do they determine who dies? <laughs> That's what I wanna know. How did how did how did the how did the dude how did Jez get roped up into that? I found the turkey, yeah. He used to live. Alright, well. That that's happening. That's currently going on. Um, and then I can get out. Escape. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, cutscene. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, dude. Yeah, that was rough, man. Oh shit. Yeah. Fair. 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 Oh, poor guy. <laughs> Weak stomach for a detective. He's a private investigator. He's not like on the force, you know? He doesn't see shit. He like investigates affairs and stuff for people. Act two connection. Wow. <clears throat> Fuck. 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 They were butchering him to dispose of the body or, or something worse than that. No, oh, that's crazy. People don't eat people. They were dismembering corpses, 
and putting them into boxes. I've, I've heard stories about ritualistic cannibalism in the past. Fuck. Oh, no. Don't remember the smell. Focus on the alcohol. What the fuck am I gonna do? This is so, so fucked. What am I gonna tell a dead? But the truth. Wait, is he talking to some- No, is he, is he talking to somebody or is he just talking to himself? Yeah, no, it's, yeah, he's talking to himself. About the truth. This is cool, like having a conversation with herself. About the truth. Uh, truth might be too harsh for her. Your husband was butchered in the basement of some sleazy bar. I was there. Fuck no, Howard. I'll just call her and wing it. Maybe it's for the best that he's gone. Why haven't we do something? Why Jez? What did he do? We have just been in the wrong place at the wrong time. What if he's not the first? How many people is Bloodworth killed? Possible to know for sure. Maybe I don't even want to know. I have a duty to do something. What the fuck can I do on my own? I have to stop anyone else being butchered like that. Great idea. Just ask Clarissa Bloodworth nicely. I'm sure she'll understand my concern. I can spread the word. Contact the newspaper. Right, until one day they track me and I wake up dead. chance to do something meaningful. I don't want to spend my life snapping cheaters and finding stolen watches. I also don't want to die. Yeah. I just don't want to be alive sometimes. Fuck! Or someone would tell me what to do. I'm fine. I can do this alone now. Just like everything before this. This might be the most important case I've ever had. But it's worth the risk. <laughs> Wait, I whittled down every sex I didn't want to talk to the police. I should tell the police. <laughs> Is that really gonna work? What would I even tell them? Hi, I broke into private property and I'd like to report a butchering. <sighs> Probably arrest me for trespass and ignore the rest. Yeah. I don't want to answer the questions they'd ask me. So the police are out of the question. Think, Howard, think. I have no clue what to do. I'm useless. Why me? Fuck this. <sighs> Maybe if I drink enough, I'll forget about it. I just want this day to be over. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Get crazy, dude. Fuck this. Yeah, <laughs> wow. I like that. The Burning Park. Park Park. Remember the Great Fire? Great Fire. I guess I'll die here. <sighs> you really nicked that juice, friendo. Rough night. More than I thought possible. Wow. That bad, huh? That bad. Whatever happened, you may as well make your peace with it, I guess. <sighs> you don't know what you're talking about. And I don't need to, I guess. Just don't know what to do. No one's gonna tell you, friendo. You think I don't know that? Whatever, chum. Good luck with the hangover. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Sure. As long as you take it nice and easy. I got a calm spot going here. <laughs> I got a calm spot going here. 
Seen those symbols on the plaque? Yeah, I seen them. Those are street symbols. Not drawn by me, mind you. You know what they mean? More or less. Most of them are dumb tags or simple messages. What do the plaque ones mean? That it's not safe here, and you better watch yourself. Not sure about the stick figure with no tail. Might be some cult shit. Oof, moving on. I hear that. I'm gonna go. Bye. I'd love to I'd love to get some some character lore about this dude, but also I'm in character right now. I'm like like, you know, why why would this dude just start fucking asking this guy about how he got here? It's wishing well. Someone's been using this as a public toilet. Not sure flipping a coin would help. <laughs> I wish this well wasn't so stinky. Lilac bush. Same herbal stink to it that... Ugh. No. Dude, he is fucking traumatized. Whoa. Hey, pussy boy. Let's have a little chat. <laughs> <It's very long. laughs> <laughs> what, what, what voice? What a gun. Hey, pussy boy. <laughs> Let's have a little chat. <laughs> Get fucked. Say that again. Come on. <laughs> no, I'm giving them the same voice. Say that again. Come on. I don't know why he's Russian now. I thought the name Gopnik was like, you know. You guys aren't exactly great. Conversationalists. You what, mate? Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, he's, oh hey, pussy boy. <laughs> Say that again, come on. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Leave me alone. You go somewhere better to be, pussy boy. I give you loons. You fuck off? Ain't gonna be that easy, matey. Now time for pain city. <laughs> That's a fucking corny thing to say. Come on. You're better than that, man. Go on. Show me what big boys you are. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Bye. Damn. You didn't have to do that to him. You didn't have to spit on him. Insult, insult to injury. Who the hell is this? Hello. Hi there. Hello. How's it going? My name's Penny Parker. Okay, Howard Lotar, we're safe here. You can relax. You relax. I'm relaxed. Don't sass me. Let's talk. What about? All right, let me get things started. Go ahead. I'm a writer. I've been researching Clarissa Bloodworth for a book on power and influence I'm working on. Why are you interested in Bloodworth? She's maybe the most unofficially powerful person in the city. Since she took over as head of her family, she's been expanding. New drugs, high-profile visitors to the Bite, and more. Visitors? Did you know there's a VIP lounge upstairs at the bar? Super exclusive. Some real influential guys have been seen up there. I'm talking top bankers, senior police, even apes. I don't remember the last time I saw an ape in person. They prefer to stay out of the spotlight these days. But I saw one enter the bite just last week. What would an ape be doing at the bite? Either having a good time, or Bloodworth has some powerful friends. So you're some sort of Bloodworth expert. You could say that. I've never talked to her directly, though, and you have. What's she like up close? I honestly don't know. She's like a stone wall. That's my problem. Usually people in power just want more power. But her, I can't exactly pinpoint what her motivation is. She pushing drugs? Specifically monkey butt. Incredibly potent, super addictive. She serves the clean variety at the bite and the shittier version is turning up on the streets. It's just... Stupid fucking name. I think it's smart. Makes you giggle. You tell your friends. Then they're curious. 
Boom. Loosens up the tongue, which for someone like Bloodworth could serve a purpose. Now yeah, let's move on. Mm hmm. Who are you working for? Myself. As for my funding, there's a guy, a rich, important asshole. It's an ego trip for him, but he knows I don't like being told what to do. Who's the guy? The name wouldn't mean anything to you, but he thinks the book will make him look good and dish the dirt on his rivals. And are you going to make him look good? No. Trick will be letting him believe that I have. You always tell it like it is, huh? When the time is right, especially when someone really needs telling. Let me guess. Everyone needs telling. Only the bad guys. The book I'm writing is about power and influence. How they work, how you get them. My end goal is to discern who really holds the most influence in the city. <sighs> Sounds like you're in way over your head. Maybe, but I feel like I could really make a difference with this book. No one has really done this work before. How'd you find me at the park? Well, I left the bite just after you got kicked out. I saw you running around, and I wondered what madness you were up to. <sighs> yeah, it was pretty hot under the collar. Anyway, I staked out the back alley just in case. Twenty minutes later, bingo, a puking raccoon. Glad you enjoyed the show. Then I followed you, hoping to ask what happened. Not sure why I let you drink that whole bottle first. You stalked me. Not cool. Hey, I was concerned. Have a little gratitude. Why am I here? What do you want from me? First, I want you to trust me like I trusted you just now. What did you find at the bite? You know what? I think I should go home. You would have gone back already if you really wanted to. Or thought it was safe. Fuck. Wouldn't it feel nice to share the burden with somebody? You wouldn't believe me anyway. I'm here to listen. I can help. What did you find? It's a long story. Start from the beginning. On our way here, you told me you're a P.I. What led you to the bite in the first place? My case. What's the case? I was hired to track a guy, take some photos. Mm hmm. Why? What's his deal? Not sure. That's what I was trying to find out. I see. Did you find him? Yes. His corpse. What? Where? In the bite's basement. They were cutting my target up into pieces. What the fuck? There were other bodies hanging from the ceiling. I saw boxes of flesh. It, it wasn't just one body. Are you fucking joking? I wish I was. Let me get this straight. Bloodworth is cutting up people in the basement of the bite and then putting them into boxes? Hence the puking. I wouldn't put killing people past her, but... This? Why? How the fuck would I know? I thought you were a detective. Never mind. I don't know, Renee. I don't know shit. Okay. Wow. It really was an eventful night for you. What are you gonna do now? Die, probably. That's the spirit. Seriously, though, how do we deal with your new situation? Since when is it a we? Since I followed you through the city all night and rescued your soggy ass from a puddle. I have a proposition. What is it? I want to invite you on an adventure. Can you be more specific? Work with me. Let's find the truth about Bloodworth. She's clearly more dangerous than I thought. She is. But what could we do? I've never had a partner before, but my gut feeling says I can trust you. You found something that I couldn't. You owe me one. I don't know you anything. Yes, you do. Just imagine doing your thing while I work behind the scenes. Teamwork. Also, I'll pay you. 
Clarissa will be looking for me. If she is, I can help you stay one step ahead of her. I'm smart. I know her modus operandi. I'll keep you safe. Maybe. Maybe is good enough for me. Now, tea time. Mind brewing some? Sure thing, boss. <laughs> oh, this is great. Wow, I really like this. Okay. Let's go, let's go. How are we only two hours in? Oh my god. I feel like I've been playing this for like four already. Um, I, I guess that's the nature of doing like a, again, like a heavy voice acting game. I like it, it, I, I get so absorbed into it. it, it feels like the shit just like extends for me. Um, okay. Which tea would Renee prefer? Let's see, how about, um, she seems like a viscous flowers. Gentle, subtle, and my favorite. I don't know how to feel about her. Time will tell. I'll watch closely. She got into my skin pretty quick. Yeah, Howard, get a fucking grip. You just met her. <laughs> Coming right up. I like I like Howard. He's pretty neato. He's got some nice nuance to him. I have a similar one in my office. Okay. Uh... <coughs> no good investigator should be without one. Oh, oh, she was. Res oh, I actually said that out loud. Okay. Window. Where are we? Docks. Not the most picturesque part of the city, but at least it's hard to find. I like that. I like how we literally like we are like interacting with stuff in the environment and she's like dynamically responding to it. That's cool. You just moved in. I don't live here. It's my safe space. Oh. <laughs> Fucking real time kettle mechanics. This game is vibing. This is chill as fuck. This is so cool. This is the part of the speedrun where they read donate. Yeah, so we're we're getting into an auto scroller, so you can read a couple donations for maybe like maybe like two or three. <laughs> Hibiscus, my favorite. Thank you. Don't burn your tongue. Renee, I do know how to drink tea. So, the case. We need to figure out what happens to that flesh. Did you see the Starling Cider delivery truck in the bite alley? Yeah, and I had to dig around. You think of what I'm thinking? Uh... That a glass of Starling Cider would be nice right now. You really are a mind reader. Or maybe the Starling Van is smuggling the flesh out. That seems like a stretch. What if I told you it's not a real Starling Cider Van? Why bother making a fake? That was my question before. I'd seen it a few times while researching the bite, but I guess now we know. How did you know it was a fake? I love their pear cider, don't judge me. And the logo just didn't look right. Up close, the colors were off too. So where does it deliver to after the bite? Well, luckily, there are people you can pay to keep an eye on things. Long story short, I know it delivers to somewhere in Gastown. But not exactly. No, my informant tracked it to the main commercial block, then lost it. But I figured out that it spends the night in the bite alley before going to Gastown the next day. So it'll be in Gastown tomorrow? Yep. You should figure out exactly where it delivers and investigate. We have to learn where that flesh goes. How would I know where to look? There are many shops. Look for where Starling is stocked. It's a fake truck, but the right place will probably still sell it to avoid suspicion. That'll help you narrow things down. And if it doesn't? We need to check either way. It's the only lead we have. We don't want to wait until the next time. Uh, it has to be done. The only thing to fear is fear itself. You can do this. 
figure it out. We will. Together. Fine. I have to call it. Oh shit, I have to call my mom. <laughs> I have to call it dead. Whoever that is, uh, or whoever that is, go ahead. Phone is right there. Arrange a taxi to Gastown while you're at it. I've got a man for that. Be right back. Okay, okay, let's call a debt. Let's tell her some shit. Who are you gonna call? Let's call a debt. Hello. Odette, this is uh, Detective Lotor. Sorry to call so early. Mr. Lotor, my husband didn't come home tonight. Did you see him? I changed her voice because I, I realized uh, I'm, I'm doing... I'm doing the sort of like general, more generalized voice for Renee, which I also did for Odette, I think, first. <laughs> My husband didn't come home tonight. Did you see him? Um, I'm not sure how to put it. I'm sure it's nothing worse than I've imagined, so please, Mr. Lotor, put me out of my misery. <sighs> Listen. You should file a missing person report. Oh. Oh, Shepard. This is goodbye, Odette. But, please, wait. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Just kind of leave her hanging a little bit. I'm gonna call her Natalie. Or, uh, yeah. Polly! <laughs> I... N or, no, no, he's there. Polly! There we go. I know who it is. I called you. Is that Howie? What do you need this early? You want breakfast in bed? <laughs> I think you might need some sleep. Howie, one day you will understand. Until then, what did all Tully do to deserve a morning call? You ain't gonna be around today. For you always! What's hanging? <laughs> it's a pear! Or a peach? Uh, what was I saying? Pick me up today at nine. I'm paying for the day. You bet! Howie and Tully, the dynamic duo of detective boy partners. Crime lords beware! And Natalie, please remember to put some clothes on. You're the boss! Big day pay! I'll wear a tiny hat if you want. You at your place? No. One second. Renee, what's the address? Tell him to pick you up outside 1640 Alberni Street. It's a block away from here. Thanks. Uh, it's only 1640 Alberni, you know it? Yeah, in the docks! Wait. Howie, who's Renee? Who is she? Tell you later. Can't wait. Gotta run. The poopy lad is being cranky. Dad life. Drive you soon. All right. We're gonna call mom. Lotor residence. Lotor residence. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mom. Howie, what time is it? Are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? I don't know why she sounds like this and, and, and Howard sounds like he does, but, you know. <laughs> Just wanted to hear your voice, Mom. And you have to hear it at five in the morning. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm good. Do you need money? Why are you like this? <laughs> I have a job, Mom. I'm okay. Sure, a, jo a job. I, I just worry about you. What, what do you need, then? I don't need anything. I'm fine. Well, now that you're here, maybe you can help me. I, I keep seeing these damn spiders under the bed. Spiders, huh? Big ones. Huge! I, I'm not panicking, but where are they coming from? You should take a look for me. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later. I won't call for a week or two. Don't worry, okay? Fine, fine. 
You never have time for your mother. Maybe you will when I die. Mom, I love you. Oh, Howie, I love you too. Don't skip breakfast and stop smoking. Bye-bye, baby. Okay. New plotline spider collecting, yeah. When are we gonna get the fucking Backbone Spiders DLC? <laughs> yeah, I like- uh, that's just a nice little call- call. Mom call. Alright, what's up, Renee? Um, okay, so. Start with the truck. Find where it's going. Call me during and after. I'll write you my number in a minute. Also, who's a debt? Oh, that is my client. Elaborate. The one that hired me to snoop on the guy I found dead in the bite. Her husband. Oh. Poor woman. Yeah. I'm not sure I handled that well. You did not. That's okay. We all deal with grief in different ways. Thank you. You can stay here for as long as you want. This place is my little secret. I'll go home now and meet you back here later tonight. Sure. Speak to you later. Bye, Howard. Be careful out there. I'm like, I'm like so absorbed in this. Sir, what's the case? You know I can't tell you, but this one could make a difference, I think. Oh, we love that for you. Time you stamp your name on the world. H-O-W-A-R-D. It's not about my name. And the name of your partner stand just underneath it. T-O-L-Y. <laughs> yeah. Here we are, guest town. Shepherd almighty, what a swanky place. You cool to live here, huh? Maybe if I sold my kidney. <laughs> yeah, well, you go on and buy the folks. I'm gonna go get some quality and Natalie chill time. When's your truck coming? We'll see. Kick back in the meantime. Well, it'll be here before you know it. Bring me a magazine or a paper while you're at it. You'll see what I can do. Thanks. It's so hot. I'm so lazy. You're telling me. Nice. By the way, fucking great. Great with just like the putting the text of new place names right on the screen like that. That's like my favorite shit in the world. Loved it in uh, Avengers, loved it in Control. <laughs> love it in this one. I really like, oh, I love the aesthetic of this place. This is so neat. All right. So I assume this is where shit kind of like opens up. Just based on what I know about game structure, this will be kind of where the real loop of everything comes into play. Wow, yeah, there's a lot of places we can go. Holy shit. Oh, Starling Cider. Nice. Okay. Um. Where do I want to go? I guess we're looking. I like. I want to explore, but also I want to like. Oh, I was gonna say. I am like so absorbed in this in this story right now, which is great for me because like normally I'll admit when I do um. When I do games where I have to read a lot of dialogue, I tend to focus a lot more on how I sound rather than like what the actual dialogue says, which is like a no point in moving away from the high street yet. Which is like it's it's an unfortunate side effect of of streaming games like this, but I don't know what it is. Something about the way this game is presented um like I'm just finding it's it's like actually easy to stay focused on what's going on because like i'm just so invested right now in everything um okay so i su okay so we are oh track down the fake starling sour truck buy a new pack of cigarettes i guess we'll do that first where can i find one of those clean clean okay up there. Furniture store wouldn't be in there. Liquor shop. Could be something in there, right? Yeah, 
this town. Lewis. Back to the shop. Luna. Yeah, sorry, sir. I'm waiting on a delivery. That's literally the same fucking voice that Howard has. I need to, like... I don't know what it... I don't know what it... The, the tone of this game makes me want to give that voice to, like, literally everybody. <laughs> Sorry, sir, I'm waiting on a delivery. Would you come back later? What kind of delivery? Please come back later. I have to close the shop. Okay. Oh, I should have just fucking went ahead and asked him if he sells cider. I guess, uh... We're in here. Um... Like, I... Back to the shop. I can't just budge in there. No one was watching me. <laughs> like, like this. I'm not watching anymore. Penny, don't beat yourself up for only doing a few voices. There's a lot of characters. I I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I like, I feel like, you know, I did smile for me. And I had like such a decent time like figuring out voices for those characters. And I think part of that was because like um they came with their own kind of like voice clips. Um even if they were like gibberish, they like had like specific sounds to everything already figured out. So I was able to kind of work off of that. This one, it's literally just text. Like there's no voice work whatsoever. So I, I like, I'm literally just starting from zero, which when I'm also streaming, ah, Deli Shop probably, right? Built a poster, refrigerator, Starla ooh! <laughs> Hey, looks like I found the lead. I found the next part of my case. I found the lead. I found the lead. Starling Cider, hand me a case. When I'm gonna find that truck, I'm gonna say, oh, what the fuck is going on in this shitty town? And what the hell is going around? There's lots of things that are going on. <laughs> it's, the, it's, the, it's the found a lead dance, yeah. <laughs> 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 I need cigarettes. Give me cigarettes. Papers. Oh. Bye. This shit is loud. This thing is loud. Can I interest you in some honey nut glazed apple sticks? <laughs> you got a uh, red apple cigs? Surely do. Three loons for a pack of ten. Yeah, I'll take them. Thanks. Here you go. That'll be three loons. Thanks. <sighs> you got any starling cider? Sure. We got regular red berry and pear. Which is the most popular? Red berry is my personal favorite. Feels the most mm, summery. Got more to do today. I've got plenty of each in stock. Why do you ask, hmm? Yeah, just curious. You sell anything special? What you see is what you get. It's all quality produce. I'm looking for something fresh and seasonal. Well, I did finally get a new shipment of tomatoes and dry onions. Finally. It's been unseasonably cold. Slow down the growth of a lot of the crops at the greenery. The apes are taking care of it, they say. Oh, I didn't hear about that. Right. News about some optimal agriculture output rarely makes the front page. Hmm. You're still doing okay. Might be a tough couple months. What can I say? Hmm? At least Gastown Grocers gets a decent pick of the crop. Is it serious? We should be fine. It's just we're so reliant on the agriculture and the greenery. So fresh stuff is going to be more expensive for a while. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. Um, so we know they get cider. But, I mean, we weren't able to ask about delivery times because uh, we don't work here. So that's kind of like not our fucking business, huh? But, uh, 
Wait, is, do you have like the same... Well, you have a white apron, so you probably work here, right? And you, you see, and you're chilling. Or is that an apron or... Yeah, that's like an apron. Like chilling? Yeah, I'm on my smoke break. <laughs> I want to talk to the customers. <laughs> Shut up. There's no way. That's fine. I'm just passing the time. Well, heck, aren't we all? Faster than we think. Guess it wouldn't kill me to make small talk once in a while. Oh, no. This guy's from Electrical. Okay. You own this place? Yeah. Been here for a couple years now. How you liking it? Yeah, the rent here is so steep. We cheaper in West End, but half the folks there don't even have a stable supply of juice. Yeah, you gotta follow the loons, I guess. Yeah, just does my head in. Selling fancy new colored light bulbs while half the population rely on candles. There are worse crimes, man. <laughs> the world could end tomorrow. There's nothing you could do. Ever think about that? Never had a reason to. <laughs> Keep lying to yourself. I'll leave you to it. Huh, okay. So bookshop. We already tried the liquor shop. Um oh I'll just I'll give the I gotta get the six back to Anonali. What's up, Rotendo? That's my man doing. It. Um oh, nice I have to go. Hold on. Did I not get Huh. I guess I got him. I'm at the hotel. The Devouden Hotel. Not for the likes of me. Lily. Got a smoke? Here you go. Just one stingy old fart. <laughs> Aren't you too young for six? <laughs> Seen a Starling cider truck around here? You mean the one that stops at Lewis's place? Oh, sure. Good old Lewis, right? The guy's a simpering pasho. Weakling. You regular customer. He sells liquor and cigars. No bastard never lets me in. <laughs> no one it usually arrives. I guess I see it sometimes during recess. About 1 p.m. Are you some kind of a truck spotter? Trucks are just my thing. Don't judge me. I am so friggin' judging you right now. Uh, uh, thanks for your help. Stay in school. Okay. <laughs> Enable. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> no, we gave a zig to a kid. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Technical team of a chat just said, these are tall kids. That... It's about what I was... This is what I'm going through. I mean, no, she will eat cigarettes. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we do know that the... Liquor shop does get the deliveries. So I gotta get to the back of the shop. Somehow, Tuna. Hey friend, I am Dorton Tuna. I give you fun facts whenever you press my button. Go ahead, press it, do it. Eggs are very... Oh, oh, the actual fish is talking. The eggs are very neutral. <laughs> Sorry. Plants emit an ultrasonic sound when injured or under stress. It's like they're screaming. Beavers eat a million pizzas a day. No one thinks about you as much as you do. Rocks are old. Very old. This is, uh, we're actually, this is actually, uh, rejected scripts for the Sonic Says reboot. One third of your life is spent working. The Sonic rushes into the, into the scene and says, Lobsters are illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. 
Oh my god, okay. Is there anything else in here I can interact with? No, okay. This guy said he was gonna close up the shop. <laughs> this is the most suspicious thing Yahoo! anyone could ever do. Much love and much hype for another game starring a furry character coming out very soon. I know, I'm hyped, I'm hyped too. Remember, uh, Thursday night, I'm, I'm streaming, uh, I assume you're talking about Rift Apart, I'm streaming Rift Apart, Thursday night. Poochie. Welcome to Poochie's Reads! Buy some books, please, they're good for you. Alright. Welcome to Poochie's Reads, buy some books, please, they're good for you. <laughs> oh, you got these things with pages and words. Sir, this is a bookshop. <laughs> What are you in the market for? Yeah, what books could you... Uh, oh, got anything by Renee Wilson? Hmm. Name rings a bell. Oh, the young fox writer. I got her book right here, yes. <laughs> What's the book called? An introduction... An, uh, introdu <clears throat> an introduction... To systemic state. Power dynamics. Not the catchiest. How was it received? To be honest, it wasn't. Quite the achievement to even get it published. She did not she did well not sounding hysterical. You're about the first person to ask about it. Not about her name. Move on from the book talk. Um You've been here long. I've been running the store for twelve years. Took over from my baba. Shepherd bless her memory if not her shelf organizing system. <laughs> All my parents gave me was anxiety. Yes, well, I hardly inherited a fortune. But I'd still want to sell books if I had. I'd just have more room to sell them in. People picking up many books these days. Enough to keep me in business. Not enough to wake up and realize how low society has fallen. We do live in a society, to say nothing of standards and literature. You learn more from real life than from books. I, uh, spoken just like someone who hasn't read enough books. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. What can you tell me about the local area? I'm a bookseller, not a tourist guide. But we do have the Gorbans Gallivet around Gastown, if you're interested. Yeah, I'll pass on that one, thanks. Yeah, it's a bit tasteless. Pun very much intended. Bye for now. Well, I was like, maybe the bookshop is like connected to the liquor store and there's like a way to... Oh, shit! Oh! Huh. Oh! Huh. Oh, well, there we go! Okay, so you just had to pass the time. Hmm. Okay! I should get to that liquor shop quickly. Okay. Yeah, all done, Grandpa. See you next week. <laughs> You're under arrest. I already forgot what voice I gave this dude. Hello, name's Lewis. What can I do for you on this fine day? <laughs> Let's talk about what I can do for you. I'm afraid I'm not looking to take on any new employees right now, sir. I'm flattered by your interest. I don't want a job, I have a job. Oh, salesman. I'm not looking for new supplies currently either, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh... Forget it. Let's just say I want to get myself a present. Uh, very good, sir. Are you looking for a darker or light liquor? Or perhaps that perfectly balanced something in between? Something that won't give me a hangover. Perhaps, sir, would enjoy something light and refreshing, like Dame Moira's Botanical Gin? Have you got anything for more exclusive customers? Hmm. I'm not quite sure. I don't know what you mean. Uh, the top shelf. The top of the shelf stuff. 
The back room, special edition shit. I'm afraid you've lost me, sir. All my wares are proudly displayed. But you haven't unpacked your new delivery. What a fucking weird thing to say to somebody. Well, no, it just arrived, but I know what's in it. Boring old starling cider. Nothing someone with refined taste like you would want. <sighs> what if I said it wasn't starling cider in there? R ridiculous? I know what I ordered, but this is my shop. I, I, I won't be harangued. I won't be harangued like this in my own shop. Lewis, I'm a private investigator. We need to talk. Well, uh, there's nothing... If it will make you happy and leave me alone... Where are you buying those crates from? Just my usual wholesale supplier. I'd love to only sell my own brews, but sadly people are slow to love them. If they had more taste, then... Then... You stock any merchandise from the bite? Uh, like, like what? Isn't it a bar and club? They don't export anything. You got any bias for those crates? I mean, I haven't even unpacked them. I, I told you, but you know, how about a free sample of my own porter? You really trying to pay me off with hooch? Goodness, no! I'm just, I'm just being hospitable. A uh, drink to smooth things over always helps. You heard of Clarissa Bloodworth? I've heard of her. Who hasn't? She owns that bar, The Bite. I think it's called... <laughs> we just talked about The Bite. <laughs> you ever met her? No, gosh, she's not the kind of person you just run into. I know about the flesh, Lewis. What's in the crates, Lewis? You talk or bad things will happen. Sir, please, I, I don't know what you want to hear, but this shop is my life. It's, like, gonna totally be just, like, the normal cider. <laughs> I want the truth, and I'm ready to hurt you for it. Oh, my God. Stop whining, you useless little man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, we're just I'm I'm not going to fucking I'm not going to be so mean to this guy. Clearly, this is setting up to where like this Lewis just like doesn't know shit. I'm a rational guy, Lewis. This could be painless. Talk about what you wouldn't understand. I I mean, if there was something nobody will know I hate Bloodworth. You'll be this <laughs> Howard looks insane right now. You don't have to do this alone. <laughs> In what? You didn't just like just circling around. <laughs> he just keeps like he keeps like vaguely implying that something is going on, and then Lewis is just like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then he vaguely implies something else again, and then he's like, but sure, I'm just a normal guy. <laughs> oh my god. Ian, what? Even, even if my position is unique, it's not fair. You have no idea. Uh -huh. Help me understand. I'm on Team Lewis. He'll just make things worse. Lewis, or maybe he does know. I don't know. He's kind of, he's kind of, kind of seems like he knows. Lewis, I'm investigating Clarissa. I got you back. I suppose if you found a way into the storage room after I dropped this key. I'll take a look. Don't go anywhere. Okay. All right. He does know. Interesting. Also, the music just stopped. What a fucking mess. <laughs> what a mess that was. That was great. Okay, well, storage area. Okay, what's in the crate? It's a closed wooden crate. I really don't want to open this. The crate has not opened itself. Look at the lid. The lid doesn't appear to have a lock on it, and there's no obvious way to open it. Punch the lid. <laughs> 
gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Wham! You slam a fist into the crate. It barely notices, but the lid does pop slightly out of its resting place. Your hand aches, but you're proud of your masculinity. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, go Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Beneath the lid are a number of small packages individually wrapped in thick silvery paper. Sniff the pet you. <laughs> I can't do this, forget the whole thing. We just like get a fucking like game over, like a bad ending if we pick this one. Um oh, come on, don't do don't puke again. You can do this. Peel back a layer of the silvery paper to reveal a neat square of flesh. Yuck! I've seen enough. Fuck. Okay. Well, there is flesh in here. Mm, so you saw it. Illegal fish fillets. It's a dangerous black market. I really genuinely wish I could leave you. Or I could believe you. I could leave you. <laughs> I really genuinely wish I could get the fuck out of here. You can. B believe me and leave. And we can all go back to the way things were before. When did you find out what was in the crates? Only recently. Uh, I was told not to look, but I had to know. If only I hadn't, I could just pretend. Tell me everything. No one else will give you this chance. But, 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 but if she finds out, I told anyone, I'll, I'll get thrown over the wall. You understand? If you tell a soul, I'm worse than... That's the second mention of the wall. Interesting. Yeah, if you tell a soul, I'm worse than dead. How did you end up with a boxes full of flesh, Lewis? I didn't have a choice. Fate has conspired against me. Fate is an excuse. You know that. It's just... Why me? Why her? Neither of us did anything to anyone. Just worked hard and paid our taxes. It's the damn city's fault. Why isn't her medicine free? Her? Someone close to you? Miss Bloodworth is keeping my sister alive. She pays the medical bills. He even, even thought about selling the shop, but the wounds wouldn't have lasted. Keeping her alive, how? Leah's ill. Too well to work, needs medication for life, and it's expensive. The doctors with blood worth the meds are paid for, and never late. My name is Howard, by the way. <laughs> nice to meet you. What do you do with the boxes? Nothing. I just look after them until they're re-delivered. Delivery? A woman calls... As for the usual, I get one of my boys to deliver the crate to her. I was instructed not to ask questions. Call her. Who is she? Her name is Bajwa. That's all I can tell you, sir. I can write down the address for you. It's it's my head if Bloodworth hears of this. Bajwa who? Tell me more. He literally just said it's all I can tell you. I, I don't know. I would never ask. Thank you, Lewis. I have to go now. Go. What are you going to do? I'm going to stop Bloodworth. I don't think you can. She's not that bad. She does a lot of good, I swear. Perhaps. Or you do your job, I'll do mine. Just please swear you won't tell anyone about this. I can't live in fear. You have my word. Thank you. Shepard guides you. Doesn't give a fuck. We're on our own. I think it's time you left. There's like so. There's like there's been like three really good conversation closers, and it just keeps going. <laughs> it's like Howard's like trying to be like cinematic. I think it's time you left, sir. One last question: When is this Bajwe expecting delivery? Well, Joey took a crate over a few days ago. She's expecting a box of cigars today. I'm not sure about the other crates. 
Tell Joey he's got the day off. I'll take the cigars. Hey, you can't. You'll suspect if it gets back to me. Leah. This won't get back to you. Give me the cigars. Hey, fine, I can't stop you. My life might be worthless, but other people will suffer if you're not careful. Stay safe, Lewis. Okay. Take them on the house. <laughs> Good luck, Lewis. That, there hasn't been music for like the past like little while. Did it like glitch out or something? It sounds like it like wants to like. I don't know if I don't know if you'll hear that, but it feels like it keeps like coming up a little bit every so often. Like it's trying to start up, but then it doesn't. I don't know if this is intentional or not. Hey, does your back up there? How about um? Yeah, yeah, we could um. Here, I'll I'll quit for a sec. Okay. I was like this like this music has like, this music this this music has been full of game <laughs> up until this point. Now the game has been like just drowning in music up until that point and then all of a sudden it just like stopped. <sighs> I mean, when I play Tetris Effect, yeah man, this music really comes with a cool game. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. All right. Mm. Oh shit, all the way back here? Uh-oh. Oh no. How'd that happen? There's no, I, I didn't see any like save function or anything. That's weird. Okay. Um, swear I saw a save icon though. Yeah, no, me too. I, I could have sworn. All right, yeah, speed on time. Um, go to live here. Uh, so we'll see you back in the meantime. We'll see what I can do. You're telling me, okay. I gotta remember all the things I did. Quick, I have to go give the cigarette to the kid again. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay, Lewis. Oh my god, I have to go through literally all of that shit again. Um, that's unfortunate. Uh, okay. All right. I'm gonna say get out, and then go over to. Deli shop. Get some deli stuff. Uh, I got red apple cigs. Take them, thanks. Uh, thank you. Bye. Okay. I mean, a lot of this is just like flavor text anyway, so. Oh, to the kids. They're not auto save. Well, normally. I'm pretty sure it auto saves. I mean, there's not like a save function. There's like no save option. So I figured it was auto saving. There you go. I do anything else? I I went to the bookstore, but I don't remember if I like. Oh yeah, then I have to go like go to the bookstore. Then at a certain point, it, I guess it just kind of like triggers the thing if I talk to everybody. Let me. Yeah, I learned about Renee's book. Okay.
the story and that monkey had no idea what was going on. I... Yeah, I was like, where where did I ask about... Where did I confirm that um, the liquor store gets the cider? Don't forget the hyphen between spider and man. Second chances to enable underage smoking. And I did it! You got it from the teenager. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I skipped through that. <laughs> there we go. Wait. No? Okay. No. You enabled it but didn't get the info. Okay, let me try that again. I literally can't talk to her again, so... I guess it's just a matter of feed pigeons, big clock. Steve watching over guests, and as always, keep it up, old man. Just wait. Do I literally just have to wait? Skip cutscene. There we go, yeah. Okay. have to deftly navigate through this dialogue again. Okay. I mean, I assume we'll learn some of the basic stuff. Okay. Uh, so what I can do for you. I don't want a job. I have a job. I'm going to give myself a present. Uh, something will give me a hangover. More exclusive. Backroom shit. Some delivery. Strong cider. Prime investigator. I'm buying this crates from. They start with a bite. And, uh, never met her, but I'm gonna pay him off with hooch. What's in the crates? Rational guy. I don't have to do this alone. Let me understand I'm on Team Lewis. <laughs> I'm investigating Clarissa. I'll take a look, don't go anywhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, I mean, you know, it's memorable dialogue. I, I like, I literally remember, like, what my options were. That's that says something. Um don't open this. Look at the lid. Punch the lid. <laughs> Move the lid. <laughs> don't puke again. Seen enough fuck. All right. Doesn't about fish. Really genuine wish. Uh when did you find out? Tell me anything. Uh uh what do you do with the boxes? Delivery. Call her. Who is she? Roger, who tell me more? How'd you end up with boxes? Bain is excuse. There's someone close to you. Keeping her alive. How? Thank you, Lewis. I have to go now. You stop Bloodworth. Your job will do mine. Uh, you have my word. Uh, you didn't give a fuck. <laughs> what is the <laughs> flesh percent? <laughs> It's a <laughs> backbone flesh percent run. Oh man. Okay. Um. Really off. Okay. Back to you. Stay safe. Okay. Pretty good. Okay. The music is still gone. So I think we just fucking did that for nothing. Yeah. At least he confirmed. Well, I just figured there's been so much music up until this point. I was like, it must be glitched out or something. Because it sounded like it kept one... It, it sounded like there was something trying to, like, kind of start up every so often. Um, okay. So we gotta learn more about Bajwa. Yeah? Yeah, find out who she is. Who could we ask for info about Bajwa? 
furniture store? I need a new couch or any couch. Miss Mrs. Tilly? The audacity! You there, what's your name? Why, I have half a mind to call the police. Oh god, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, she knows. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm really glad I took the time to do that again. <laughs> she fucking knows. Um, it's uh, Wallace Brotor, concerned, concerned citizen. Well, Mr. Brotor, if I ever see you around the children again, I'll report you for misconduct towards minors. I never want to see those little terrors again. <laughs> yeah, not getting into all that. Get out of here. Get out of here. I gotta talk to Ginger. Good afternoon, young lad. Good afternoon. How are the pigeons doing? They're good, thank you for asking. They know me better than anyone by now. How long have you been feeding them? I come out here every day. I've done for the last five years, and I must say, I enjoy the peace and quiet. Uh, sounds lonely to me. You sure you don't want some company? My feathered friends are company. Doesn't the conversation get a bit one-sided? There's a difference between loneliness and solitude, young fellow. Enlighten me. Loneliness is a yearning and emptiness. Solitude is a space to be yourself, to know yourself, to love yourself. When I'm alone, I try and drown myself out. I've seen what that does to people. The voices shout louder, so you have to do more to quiet them. And then you're dead. On that cheerful note, I should go. Read my words, young lad. I'll try. See you, ma'am. Real. Real shit. Talk to Renee. Who's speaking, please? I got a new lead. Ah, I'm listening. Clarissa is using a liquor shop as a front. And who buys from there? Someone named Bajwa. Any idea who she is? Not yet. She puts in a call to the shop and the boxes get delivered from there. Did you learn where? 350 W Georgia Saint. Georgia Street? Street. Saint. <laughs> Georgia Saint. 350 West Georgia Street. Ring a bell? Oh yeah, the music's back. I, I just noticed. That is, yeah, that was like a, I have a, a hard time reading that as an address. <laughs> it was like in full-on dialogue reading mode. Um, an address in the tops. Interesting. Feel like heading over for a house call? Heck yeah. I love peeking into people's windows. Weird. Weird thing to say. Hmm. Might not be the best idea to just barge in and confront her. I have a delivery for her. Ooh, good idea. But that won't get you into the apartment. One thing at a time. You do seem to have a habit of winging it. But hey, whatever works. It's more like spontaneous improvisation. Get on with it. I'm going, I'm going. Good luck, you're doing great. Call me after and head straight home, okay? Home? Well, it is where you live now. Right, speak soon. Hello, Harold. Okay, so we're going to... Top Street? Is that this way? Or St. George's Street in the top, whatever she said, top, something like that. I don't fucking know. She sounds like your mom, yeah. This way? Where are we going? How do we get there? Oh! Oh, uh, Natalie can take me there. Duh. What's up, Bretendo? Let's drive, Tolly. Yes! Where to? It tops. Let's go. 
There's that saving icon. What's new, Chief? Did you crack the case yet? No. Got a big lead, though. Ah! Lead on, partner! Sounds like this is a bigger deal than usual. You're, uh, being careful, right? Relax. I'm not about to deprive you of your best customer. Best friend? Sure. But if you're my best customer, how come you don't tip? Because best friends don't need to tip, Natalie. It'd be impolite. Polite? <laughs> I didn't realize you were part of high society. Howie, you're fixing a bit. Uh, I missed it. Just watch the road, huh? <laughs> I missed the rest of the line. I couldn't read it. Welcome to the Blue Falls building. My name is Finn. I'm afraid we have a strict policy of only admitting visitors who've been pre-invited. I have a delivery for Miss Bajwa. Ah, yes, there's a delivery boy on the list. She's in apartment 1144, 11th floor. How do you like working here? It's a wonderful building. I'm lucky to work in such a good neighborhood. What do you get for it? You want me to say I live in the basement? Would that make you happy? No, it would make me sad. Yeah, well, you asked for it. I wish you the best. Keep up the good work. I fully intend to. I'm off people to see deliveries to deliver. Nikki. Ninki Ninja. 100 years said 11th floor. The residence of evil. <gasps> <laughs> Resident Evil. <laughs> I had to look up the Resident Evil voice line, and then the video that I picked had like a weird intro at the beginning. <laughs> Which is just like it's the it's the worst possibility. Like you you always hope that if you gotta improvise a quick video search, you don't want the ones that have the weird fucking like custom YouTuber intro in front of them. Like just give me what I fucking came here for. Notice board. Floor twenty committee meeting this Friday. One one four four. Is that, I mean is that it? It's back. Fire escape. Yeah, well, I guess this is it. There's only only one there. Yep, that's it. Okay. <laughs> oh, they have jungle. Miss Bajwa. Oh, this is her. Yes. Miss Bajwa, I got a delivery for you. Ah, the cigars. Right here. Can you confirm the recipient's name? I might not get to enjoy them, but I am the recipient, Eloise Bajwa. Trying procedure, you understand. Oh, fine. What about the payment? I have an arrangement with Lewis. It's taken care of. Oh, of course. My mistake. How about a tip? <laughs> <laughs> Do I fucking dare? <laughs> Do I poke the... Yeah, how about a tip? Tip me. <laughs> Your employer to recompense you correctly, not me. I'm just saying, bet you could sweeten the pot. <laughs> <laughs> you want to arrange any other deliveries? Lewis will know. <laughs> Certainly, good name is much. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. Bajo is just the maid. Find out who the apartment really belongs to. <laughs> what do you mean? 
mean Penny Parker class trader moments? That's uncomfortable. <laughs> I can't I can't reach it. They have my short arms. Damn, I wish you could fucking like spam the crouch. Oh my god, all my dreams have come true. Umbrella, window. Umbrella, window. Umbrella. I now have an umbrella. Looks cozy inside. Okay, I'm being creepy. Where am I going? Oh, oh, this way? <laughs> Use umbrella. Oh, cool. Oh, that clever. Clever. No, don't get rid of the umbrella. It's raining. What the fuck are you doing? Screw you, Umbrella. <laughs> well, you don't have to be mean about it. It did its job. This city looks so strange from up here. Hey, but it's easy to forget real people are struggling down below. What do you think about that, bird? <laughs> Pet the geezer. Ooh, he's a good boy. You're a good boy. Hey, it's time for the goose dance, everybody. I found the goose and he's my friend. I found the goose for friends till the end. I'm gonna do the goose dance next to my friend, the goose. Should be right outside the back of the maid's apartment. Who really lives here? It's closed on a latch. Oh wait, it's actually open the tiniest bit. Why it's not thin enough to slide through and lift? Well, oh, shit, I don't have anything. Looks like there are renovations going on. Maybe I can find some kind of tool nearby. If you hadn't thrown away the umbrella, you know umbrellas known for being a putty knife. <laughs> hey, stranger. This is not what you think it is. I don't want to know. Saw you climbing. Nice moves. Don't mind me, just getting some fresh air. Yep, me too. You have a nice butt. <laughs> Thanks. My pleasure. Hey, can you keep on meeting secret, please? Sure, both of you to assume I'll remember anything tomorrow. Good for you. Your butt is good. Thanks. I think I'll go. Hate to see you leave. Love to watch you go. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, just about. Easy now. Lift the latch in. Boom. Now I can lever it open enough to climb through. Just the inside. Fuck, Howard. You're at it again. This ranks the second craziest thing I've ever done. Just this week alone. I'm way over my head. I need to quickly figure out who lives here and run. Well, do we have to do it in that order? Because I can run right now. Just, like, get that one out of the way. I can dance, even. Okay. This desk is upsettingly tasteful. Expensive-looking knowledge. Ugh, not this guy. They, they all worship... Is that, like... Like an actual, like a human shepherd? Or, like, is it gonna be, like, a funny, like, like it's a dog. Like a golden shepherd, you know? What's the, what are the details of their fucking deity? Some book secretly opens a hidden room. I... Wait. What the fuck? I, uh... Just came out of nowhere. They literally just appeared. 
<laughs> the shit? Oh, hello, mister. Are you lost? Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm new. Uh, part of the tired help. You look funny. I am funny. So, what are you doing? <laughs> Admin assistant. I'm the desk repair guy. Daddy says repairs are for suckers. You can't afford to replace things. What does daddy do? <laughs> yeah, some people don't have a choice, you know? I know that. I'm not dumb. Tell me about your dad. Weird. Weird thing to go with, Howard. My father is the Research and Development Secretary. He's the Secretary of Research and Development. Does he live here? No, we live in our own house, dummy. Do you know whose house this is? I don't know. Daddy calls him Big Boss. Does Boss have a name? When I grow up, I'm never going to do any work. <laughs> this is probably true. <laughs> Holy shit. That's awesome. <laughs> Wait. What do you do instead? Theo here just likes to annoy me and play with her dumb dolls. You got a better idea? I'm gonna be like the big boss and have the biggest cigars. Hey kids, can I ask a favor? Daddy says a single favor can be priceless, but more than one makes you worthless. <laughs> I will owe you one, I will owe you both one great big fat favor. That depends. What do you want? <laughs> My boss will be angry I'm talking to you. Let's keep it a secret. Yes, because you're being lazy instead of working. Exactly, and I need this job to pay for stuff. Our stuff is better, and we didn't have to work for it. We win. Look, the grown-ups will be angry at you, too. No, they won't. But they? Spending time with a peasant like me? Oh. They'll be pissed. Hmm. But it could be fun to watch you get shouted at. I can do that, you know. Shout! You'll get shouted at louder. I do hate it when Daddy shouts. I might tell him you're misbehaving. <laughs> what are you doing in here anyway? We snuck in here. So we have a deal. Fine. You got yourself a deal, mister. Theo, take a peek. Can we sneak out? No, you peek. I don't want to. I can do it. Thanks, mister. Favor repaid. Sure. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that was something. Who the hell? Who the frick? Who the... They got a whole Last Supper situation. Oh my god, wait. Are they- are they doing the fucking big cannibalism right here in this room? Oh my god. Whoops. Okay, well. <laughs> I- I open up the- I'm, I'm opening up the settings to turn up the ambience a little bit. But it wouldn't be so funny <laughs> if I just- just paused it and just quit. Just just ended the stream. <laughs> just for no reason. I don't know why. <laughs> like when I when I pulled up the menu like that instead of putting my mouse down, I just thought like what if I was ending this like what if I was just quitting right now? Just like with no fanfare or anything. <laughs> that being said, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be gone. Do I have anything else to say to Jebediah? So is it clear? Can we go now? Yeah, you can go, kids. Thanks, mister. Come on, Dio. Desk is made out of beautiful, expensive, solid wood. I feel like the world could be run from behind this desk. Uh, sniff the desk. What has perhaps been rubbed with... I did it. I sniffed something. Are you happy now? What has perhaps been rubbed with scented oil, redolent of citrus and smoke. It smells of power and success. Try to forget about the desk. Feel the desk. 
feels like a desk, but you wish you could run your hands over its silky grain every day. Let's uh, look at the pile of papers. Quick glance reveals the stack of various documents, letters, and notes, all with annoyingly small print. Right. The name of the owner of this study should be in there somewhere. No time to look through them here. Search the desk. There are a few closed drawers, an empty mug, a chunky book, and nothing else of note. Uh, search for hidden compartments. You've never seen a desk with a secret compartment, but that doesn't stop you from hoping. You find nothing. <laughs> Give up on finding a cool secret apartment. Or compartment. Secret apartment. Whoa. There's a time and a place for fantasizing about secret compartments. <laughs> Open the drawers. They're locked. Whoever owns this desk is taking no chances. Let's uh, take the mug. Plain white mug with father of the year written in big red letters on it. Inspect the book. It is a copy of The Nature Within Us by Jordan Rand. Uh, oh, no, I don't even want to look at it. <laughs> Read the back of the book of blurb. In the seminal advocacy of pure reason, individualism, and power, Rand treats new ground towards a truly utopian society. Yuck. I get the feeling I know what kind of book this is. It's one of those hateful books masquerading as egalitarian philosophy that fascists love. It's too risky here to search more thoroughly. Someone might come in at any moment. <laughs> Damn. What a mess. Okay, nothing else. Let's go. All right, what did we learn? Fascism. Oh, wow. Are you ready to start? Let's do it. All right, so you barged into someone's study and stole a bunch of papers? <laughs> I prefer the term borrowed. Of course. What were you thinking? They were there, so I took them. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find anything else. Sorry. Well, let's see what we got here. Could you read out loud? I think best with my eyes closed. What are we looking for? We need to find out who is buying flesh from Clarissa, whose apartment you were in. Let's call him the buyer for now. Yeah. Which one do I read first? Start small. Something that looks personal. Maybe handwritten. Oh, here's one. It's a handwritten note on a scrap of yellow sticky paper. Chief... Wait. That's her name. Chief Tanner, I have a priority order for you. Your head of biochemistry will now report directly to me. Burn after reading. Renee, your thoughts? Our buyer wrote this. Neat handwriting. Let's try to figure out who he is. Let's analyze this. Something specific caught your eye? Head of biochemistry. What are you thinking? What is biochemistry even? <laughs> biochemistry probably means a well-equipped lab. Good point. You can only find those in Science City. Chief Tanner. Yeah, who is that guy? This Tanner guy is, uh... Or if we have a name, can't you look it up somewhere? I could try, but maybe I don't have to. What exactly could he be chief of? Chief of? Report directly to me. Mm-hmm. Is our buyer above the chief? Yes, the chief is in high standing, but our buyer must be even more senior. Okay, let's try to draw a conclusion. Chief Tanner must be managing the head of biochemistry, who probably works in Science City. Who's the buyer, then? President. <laughs> the science minister. Yeah, no, the president. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't even know what biochemistry is. No, Howard, you stole these paper from the science minister. Ah, damn it, I almost clicked that one. Good job. Shit, do I have to return them? No, they're yours now. So the science minister is buying flesh from Clarissa. What is she gaining from this? I don't know why you're asking me. <laughs> Let's see if we can figure that out next. I'm right here with you. Let's read on. Okay. Um, R&D report, RSVP. 
jar of Sabine. Envelope containing a single sheet of high quality paper with neat writing and a signature. Dear friend, I will of course attend our monthly celebration. Can't wait to see what delicacy you've prepared for us this time. Analyze this. Something you want to discuss. Dear friend, who's Teton? Oh, man. His friend, duh. <laughs> Thank you, Howard. <laughs> what delicacy you've prepared. What is he talking about? Flesh. Howard, they're eating people. Monthly celebration? What are they celebrating? That they get richer and more powerful each month. Some sort of ancient cult tradition. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised. Well, this document? Okay. RD report. Official looking report on Science City branded paper. Research project number 765B introductory report. Minister of Protein Analysis of the new sample is underway. Sample possesses hitherto uncatalogued genes whose functions will require time to isolate via RNA tracking. This can't be rushed, as I've said before. Please have patience. Uncatalogued genes? Sounds important, right? Got an alien, Renee. <laughs> it's a new form of life. It's something they've not detected before, but were they looking for it? Protein analysis of the new sample. You understood that? No, not at all. Ha. Huh. I'm no expert, but it reminds me of something I read a while ago. Umbrella all along. Yeah, literally, wouldn't it wouldn't be so cool and fucked up if this was like like a detective noir game? That just, like, delves into, like, some weird, like, Resident Evil type, like, biohazard shit. That would be awesome. I mean, they're, they're kind of setting the stage for that here. Oh, that's, that's exciting. Raccoon City, oh my god. Whoa! Avrax, you fucking cracked it. You cracked it. Holy moly. Um, sounds like genetics terminology. Our minister hired a biochemist, remember? This can't be rushed as I said before. Must be the biochemist he hired writing this. Science minister is not an easy guy to work with. Sounds right, like the scientist has had to tell the minister to be patient already. Okay, um, handwritten memo. Oh. Just read that. Other documents. Oh God, there's more. Okay. Um, briefing log. A leather dossier with a golden city emblem engraving. There are a few pages inside. My right honorable ministers, I wanted to summarize my official recommendations on the new street drug in circulation named Monkey Butt. Oh. Despite the insulting name, I don't believe it to possess significant addictive qualities. There's no widespread risk to the public health, so criminalization is not warranted. I will continue to monitor the situation with the cooperation of the police. Your dossier includes the detailed toxicology breakdown. My right honorable Miss ministers. Yeah. Uh... Do you think the president was present? He doesn't really call the shots. If the ministers ratify the report, monkey butt is basically legal. No widespread risk to public health. Do you believe him? Uh, he's bluffing. Not exactly. Remember that he has access to a laboratory. Test results could be fabricated. Criminalization is not warranted. What does this imply for Clarissa? This protects Clarissa's customers. Not as much as it protects Clarissa and the bite. Okay. Please note. Blank page of paper with a small type note and no other details or clues. Esteemed fellow minister, the recent reports of disappearances from West End have a clear connection. I don't know why you want them left alone. There's only so much we can turn a blind eye to. If this becomes a scandal, it's both our asses fix it. Oh. Okay. I heard about these disappearances. I fucking knew there was a pattern. This is huge, Howard. The recent disappearance of us have a clear connection. 
What's the connection? They're all from West End. One person is responsible. The minister or someone close to him could be the link. I don't know why you want them left alone. Why does the science minister even care? They're all being turned into flesh. He's protecting someone. Yep, definitely. Whatever the reason, he's making sure no one digs into the issue. Fix it. What does he imply? The science minister has a way to stop the police from investigating. To a point. But if the disappearances don't stop, it's somehow bad news for the science minister. This is fucking weird. Letter to Daddy. Illustrated letter written in color pencil. Daddy, I love you very, very much. Please give money for my birthday. I want to buy a lizard. Bye. <laughs> Let's look more closely at that. Anything specific seems off. I love you very, very much. What makes? What's that make you think? <laughs> it's a bluff. <laughs> yeah, the kid just wants the gift. This is fucking stupid. Come on. <laughs> I'm so glad they added this. This is fucking silly. I want to buy a lizard. What's it tell you? <laughs> Lizards are horrible pets. Still a better time investment than children, though. <laughs> that's fucking great. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> that is so fucking funny. Oh, that just made me so happy. I don't know why that simple little... The fact that they included that is just so fucking clever. <laughs> it's like, it's I, I just love... Because, like, it just takes... You know, you, you work through all of this, like, super serious, straightforward investigative shit. And then they just have that one little moment of just, like, levity that is just, like, so appealing. I think we're done here, Renee. Right. Howard. What exactly is the relationship between Clarissa and the minister? Partners, he has dirt on her, she has dirt on him. Hmm. She has dirt on him. She clearly has some leverage. Let's start with the minister. What's he getting from all this? They're lovers. Drugs. Drugs. No, he could produce and consume any drugs he wants without clear. Yeah, right, because he's Minister of Science, okay. Then they're fucking. <laughs> uh He's eating people, Renee. Judging by what you saw and the dinner RSVP, these ministers and maybe the apes at large are considering lower class people at delicacy. Monsters. Fuckers. Clarissa is enabling this. What is she getting from it? We don't know yet. She gets to kill people. Immunity? Eight ministers are a girl's best friends. If the science minister helps to protect her from the police, or any other meddling in her business, then she gets to keep the bike going. Yes, Howard, but not only that, she has almost absolute power while the minister is on her side. The drugs are pretty straightforward. It's the missing people that bothers me the most. Should we look into the West End thing? Yes. I'll get you the reports, names, addresses. We have to see if these people are connected to the minister or Bloodworth somehow. We investigate West End tomorrow. Right, there's no time to lose. We have to ask now. We have to act now. There must be something else we're missing. An even bigger benefit to Clarissa. Maybe she wants to become a minister. No way a woman, let alone one that isn't even an ape, is becoming a minister anytime soon. Science stuff then. That would explain why it's the science minister she's interested in. He was researching something, right? What was it again? Uh, proteins? Right. Proteins. They found new genes in a secret lab in Science City. Secret research only the minister and one scientist knows about. I agree. It's crazy suspicious. Could Clarissa be interested in this research for her own purposes? 
she wants information to be on top. It, it might be powerful. She wants power. Whatever power is, she has to have it. We must we must look into it, but getting into Science City will be hard. Into the most secretive building in the city? Are you are you serious? I am. But first, West End. We're uncovering something incredible, Howard. This partnership is working out. I'm tired. Oh great, our takeout arrived. Nice, I'll get it. Holy moly. Oh, cute. How pleasant. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Ah! Indeed. Ah, God! Uh, here's your loon, buddy. Ah! Fly free. <laughs> Drink with me. Something stronger than tea this time. But you never ask. Tonight's poison is gin. You a gin man? Yeah, pull me a tall one. Let's do it. Let's fucking, let's party. Cheers. Here's to all this being over soon. You saying you don't enjoy putting your life on the line for the greater good? I uh, could do a, a break from talking about it. How have you been sleeping? Since... No worse than usual. I have this recurring nightmare. I have one too. Hmm? What is it? I'm in my childhood house. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for a way out. And you can't find it? The corridor is an endless loop. An endless nightmare? Ugh. Oh, it ends when the walls close in, and I die screaming. That's a bad dream for sure. Sorry, Howard. What about yours? I'm running through thick black mud, and then it swallows me whole. Sounds pretty standard. You close with your mom? Close enough, yeah. What does that mean? It's complicated. Complicated how? It's hard to explain. She's my mom. I have to love her for that, I guess. No one is owed anything from you, especially love. Parents can be assholes too. What's her deal? Oh my god, I just fucking... Oh my god, I just fucking realized. This made me remember the fucking... The rabbit mom at the beginning... That girl is, that girl got eaten. That's what that was about. Holy shit. I just put that together. Oh my god. That's fucked up. Yeah, poor Rosie. Parents can be assholes too. What's her deal? Uh, she's just been spiraling for years. She's had a hard life. My mom doesn't care what I want. I'm just something for her to project her needs onto. You feel guilty about it ever? No way. I'm not a therapist. I didn't ask to be born, and I refuse to shoulder the burden of her insecurities. <laughs> Maybe I should try thinking like that. If someone brings negativity into her life, cut them out. Works every time. I'll think about it. You ever feel like no one truly knows you? Nobody ever will. Right. I could only know you filtered through my own perception. That is, that's not really you. Just a projection inside my head. It's close enough. I guess. It's just a bit lonely. Lonely together, then. That's nice. You skin? Always. I get it. Yeah. Howard, I'm so tired. Do you mind if I sleep here? Close your eyes. Damn. 
I figure, you know, they're 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 drinking a little bit. If they're gonna open up, now's a better time than ever. <laughs> Aw. Tuck her in, tuck her in! Sweet dreams, Renee. Fuck yeah! You're just to fucking uh, to tuck the lady in percent run. Achieved. Alright, let's go to sleep. Um, I might call it here. As much as I'm fucking loving this game, um, I'm getting pretty tired myself. Howie, you okay? You're brooding more than Essie after I forgot the dishes. That's on my mind. So how about you share instead, hmm? Might do you and that overworked Brainio some good. The case keeps getting bigger. Maybe I'm out of my depth. And then there's Renee. Whoa, wait, that lady. <laughs> no wonder you're daydreaming. Nothing like that. We work well together. I respect her. Good, working together in mutual respect? Not bad ingredients if you're looking to cook up a little something something is all I'm saying. <laughs> so just fuck already. <laughs> um <laughs> that you, Street Hawk? <laughs> Since when do I have a code name? Starting now, Street Hawk. Anyway, how's it been going over there? So far nothing. My feet hurt. You already spoke to Mary, Miranda, and Shelly? Uh, if get the fuck out counts as speaking, sure. Were you persistent? Were you charming? Did you tell them you were on their side? Nah, I was an asshole and gave up. I know you're frustrated, but sarcasm doesn't become you. Stay positive. Maybe Beverly or Bill will talk? Worth a shot. I got a good feeling. Two more doors, and they're in the same block of apartments. Then you can come back and put your feet up. I hope the building has an elevator. We should get you some insoles. Maybe you have high arches. Anyway, think positive. You got this. Not lazy, just tired. Good luck, and remember to knock gently. Let me know how it goes. Thanks, Renee. Talk soon. West End. Nice. All right. Night <laughs> first converse, yeah. Oh my god, this place is really fucking pretty too. I love all the... Whenever we enter a new area, I just, I, I just like, m marvel at the fucking, like, art design of this game. This is so good. Domino, thank you so much for the bits. Here's a tip, even though we're all friends here. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, okay. So, uh, with that... Wow, what a fucking... What a great game. What a good time that was. Um, I would like to come back to this. I don't know when. Uh, I, you know, as I've said a little bit, I got a, I got a pretty busy a uh, few weeks ahead. Um, well, like I'm really, I'm really right smack in the middle of that busy few weeks. So I don't know how much longer it's gonna be, but um, yeah, I, uh, I'm wow. I enjoy that game so much. It's just so fucking good. It's intriguing. I'm into the story. Um, so I'd like to come back to this one. Yeah, for sure. Um, y'all seem interested as well, which is very, very nice to see. Um, but, uh, yeah, if not, um, anytime this remaining week, let me see, cause I'm, cause next week I'm doing, the next week I'm doing Xbox on Sunday, the E3 stream, E3 Nintendo on that Tuesday. Maybe I could come back next, oh, uh, you know what? I'll still be in the middle of Rift Apart, so I'll probably really want to play more of that as much as possible. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but hey, if you're at all interested in this game, I'd highly recommend it. It just came out. Um, how much is it on the store? Can I look at the price? It's uh, it's like 25 bucks, uh, but it's currently 10% on Steam, 10% off, so it's uh, 22 if you, if you buy it now. Um... And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not sponsored or anything. I just really fucking enjoyed that. So um, I want to help get the word out uh, that this game rules. This game rules so far. I'm really into it. I'm liking the story. Uh, the characters are great. I, I, I really like the dialogue. Um, so I, I, I would like to come back to this. I, so I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do my best. It's also on Game Pass. It is. Oh, it's on Game Pass. Nice. That is even better. If you have Game Pass, it is on Game Pass. So, fuck yeah. Um, but yeah, I had a, wow, I had a great time. Okay, uh, but with that, I'm gonna get going. Uh, is there anybody 
we can raid. Oh, there's a couple people we can raid. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's give Mar a raid. Mar Katodo is currently streaming Minecraft. He's doing the finale of season one of his ongoing Minecraft shenanigans. Uh, so uh, let's go. Let's go give him some love. Uh, got any raid phrase ideas? <laughs> Smoking percent. Yeah, I think it's got to be one of those like percent run jokes we did. Enabler percent. <laughs> oh, man. I really like enabler percent. I think I'm going to go with that one. Enabler percent. How about enabler percent PB? Okay, copy that and then uh, paste it. Yeah, I just put a V there, just, you know, for the fun of it. Um, paste it in Mars channel when we get over there. So, uh, yeah. So before I set this up, uh, once again, I'll remind y'all, uh, cause you know, lots of stuff is going to be coming up pretty soon. So, um, tomorrow I might stream, but I think it's really like a 70% chance at the moment. Uh, I think I'll probably take a break tomorrow. Um, if I do decide to stream something, it's going to be really chill. Nothing super big going on tomorrow, even if I do stream, but y'all will know about it, you know, based on Twitter. And if you're in the sub discord, I of course notify people when I stream. Um, so, you know, keep an eye out just in case, but, uh, you know, I, I most likely will take a break tomorrow because on Thursday, um, Rift Apart comes out and man, I want to be well rested for that. I want to be on my A game because I am going to play that game on its like midnight release. It'll be anywhere from like 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. my time when it unlocks probably. And uh, I want to play as much of it as possible. So uh, I don't care how late it gets. If I want to keep playing it, I might just keep playing it. But we'll see how that goes. Um, and uh, oh my, yeah, based on review scores, I am more excited than I have ever been for this video game. So, uh, yeah, that's happening Thursday night, so keep an eye out for that if you are interested in joining me for really, like, the ultimate finale of this first, uh, kind of, like, Ratchet and Clank series run-through I'm doing, or I I've done. Um, and then, uh, yeah, like I said, on Sunday, I'm doing, uh, I'm streaming reactions to Xbox and Bethesda's E3 conference, which should be really interesting. It's the first time that they will be combined in such a way um, which I think should be pretty neat to see. I hope to see some cool stuff, hoping for some Starfield gameplay. I'd fucking love to see that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then next Tuesday, I'm doing, uh, Nintendo at, uh, what, like, 12 Eastern, I think it was. Um, otherwise, I can't think of anything really to announce in terms of dates. A lot of stuff that I'm working on is very up in the air. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of what's immediately happening. So, uh, if you're interested in any of that, please feel free to drop by. Uh, but until then, uh, I'm going to send y'all on over. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for dropping by and hanging out with me tonight. I had a fucking great time. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, thanks for being a chill, chill chat tonight. Uh, I hope you had a great time. If this was your first stream, I hope you'll consider coming back in the future. Uh, drop a follow on the channel if you would like, and if you would like to be notified of streams as they happen, make sure you have those turned on. Um, and uh, yeah, otherwise, uh, like I always say, hey, please be good to yourselves. Please be good to others as well. Do something nice for yourself if you haven't in a while. Have a wonderful day or night, whatever it is where you are. I'll see you all real soon with some more fun times. Let's go say hi to Mar. He's currently doing some fucked up shit in Minecraft, right? I don't know what the fuck. Did his game just crash? Okay. Let's go say hi to Mar. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. Play Backbone.